and welcome to this gameplay guide for Astroneer. Okay, so in the last video we were able to create our big shuttle and we were able to create a condenser which is just here. As you can see it's produced some lovely fuel for me and that uses, just uses power, it doesn't need um, any thing like the hydrazine catalyzer which takes in an ammonium uh, resource and turns it into fuel and gives you the lovely pink tank <laughs> underneath your ship but uh, yeah there's more to um, the vehicle bay than meets the eye so two things we're going to try and show you in this is the add-ons that you can put onto the shuttle and onto the rovers and in addition to that I will show the different bits and bobs I'm going to be playing with that as you can see I've been gathering lots of uh, research so we're going to be playing with that we're going to be playing with the winch and somewhere, if I can find it, because I can never find these things. No, nah, be under that. We will be talking about extenders and splitters and batteries. Okay, so that's the big battery. We've got the small battery which we've already seen in action um, so the way that the way that batteries work as if you didn't know just like this the rover is basically just a big battery so you put a solar pattern on it and it charges up during the day and in the dark like it is at the moment uh, it pumps as you can see pumps power into your energy supply oh, solar panel comes up and then you've got power during the night. Now it's the same with this battery here, this is one of the small batteries. When that gets used up, that recharges from there, that solar panel, and for supplies through the night, just like any other battery. Now, we've just brought the larger size of battery, and that takes a rare resource. And uh, that rare resource, which I have got sitting around in some abundance, uh, these beauties lithium now I believe if I grab a couple of these and actually put them on my backpack rather than just show you hey look let's think of that over there right I think it is the medium table which is that one over there that's plugged into my large rover I think it's that one on oh, the winch is there habit uh, medium battery there it is so we need to no we're not doing that i want you to print it ah yeah this one's slightly different it's the old interface so used to pressing q right so now we should be able to print <coughs> so basically what we're doing here is we're creating a static one of these now I think if you're doing a lot during the night and you can see that start charging up I guess. if you've got a few of these uh, five maybe six will power your base through the night if you're doing research and producing fuel then five or six of those should do the trick it's also if you're going to somewhere like the moon which is called the Baron having these to start off with taking one of these is fairly is fairly important because there's no wind up there none whatsoever so you're a bit stuffed oh that's something i don't think i've actually brought i don't think i've actually brought the wind turbine see that no knew it there we go wind turbine we'll use some of those so whereas on the exotic planet there's an awful lot of storms and an awful lot of wind and the wind turbines are far more useful so as you see the battery is charging up beautifully right okay so let's have a look at our oh yes there's other things I need to buy if I haven't brought them already 
Um, and they are. If I can find them. No, not that one. And the storage units. Okay, we'll go through the mods in another video. The mods for the guns are fairly pathetic. Right, the large storage and the extra large storage. We'll cover those. So, okay, so we need a new rover because we've already abused our old one. So we will print the rover. And whilst that's printing, we will have a look at the shuttle. Okay, let's take that off and show you what this what we're going to do with this. Right, so as you can see, we can print and open one seat. Well, we've already got one of them. We can remove it as we want. Mm -hmm. We can do an enclosed seat. Well, that's basically one of those. And like that, we can take it on and off. Mm -hmm. Right, now we're talking large storage. Now, we can add two of those to this shuttle. And what you can then do is attach that or the single enclosed seat onto just one of those. And that gives you a lot more space to carry things backwards and forwards. Add to that, you can put medium storage on it as well. Then you've got a lot more storage capabilities. And then you have the extra large one. Unfortunately, once you've done that, you can't actually go anywhere because... Let's face it, you're not getting anything on that. I don't think there's any dual slots on there either for you to put the seat on. So that would probably only work on a rover if it was a trailer. And you're going around getting a lot of resources that way. So let's get some compound. Now we need a compound. Of course, that seems a bit heavy. Uh, there is. Do I have any compounds? Uh, no, that's titanium. A compound's one of those resources that I tend to use a fair bit of. Oh, look, there we go. We've got our rover. There we go. And just like the shuttle, you can add an open one seat and enclosed one seat. And there you can see that it's a half. And you can actually put two of them on and have two seats. And then you've got the large storage and the extra large storage. Uh, and obviously the crane. And the winch is a separate device. Okay, so we will take a look at that in a minute. But I need some compound from somewhere. And plenty of it. Oh, I've got my backpack. I've got one compound. Well, that's a good start, I suppose. Right. Compound hunting, and now I've mined that resource. Let's go for a quick run out here. I'm fairly short actually. Let's grab the. the single rover. The little rover. My old favourite. I like it because it's faster. Let's put that up there just for the time being to keep it out of the way. And as we're not really doing anything, we don't really need to keep that plugged in. Right, so. We'll step right now. Let's avoid the hole. Because I'm really good at falling in every single hole going. Uh, let's head up this way. I think there was some compound in this generalised direction. It was a little bit of a way because I've actually been mining an awful lot of the stuff. And I don't think there's any below. And I don't think, well... None that's easy to find, anyway. And... That looks promising just there. There we go. Let's get that. Hopefully that will give us the four we need. We will need eight, eventually, but for demonstration purposes, we just need the four. Hopefully this will give us all the compound we need. Oh, it's already given me three, that's good. Might as well get what I can out of it. Around the other bit. 
bit. Any more? Where is there any more? No, okay, let's uh, fill the hole in because I know I'm going to fall in at a later date. Okay, so I've been out and I've mined a bit of compound and we now should have enough to do what I want to do. Now, the shuttle. With the shuttle, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add... Does it say large storage? It says large storage, yeah. I'm going to add two large storages to this. This is why I needed all more compound. Since then... I'll, uh, I've uh, managed to ditch the rover in another roll, and we have a sandstorm. It's been fantastic. It's been quite eventful. Once that's on there, you can't take it off. It is fixed. However, it is very useful to have it on there. It increases the amount that you can carry by quite a lot. Now, you can carry four items on there. You can carry that, the seat. Then you can carry three other items of research. Now you can do that still, but with the addition of another one, you have way more. So what you can do now is you can take that, and you can then put that, not on there, on there. Oh you swine, it loves to get in the way, it really does. When I say, alright, we'll leave it off and let that down, Just let it build that. Or maybe I've just broken it. Because that doesn't actually seem to be good. All of a sudden it's just going to go ping and appear, isn't it? It is kind of doing it. Certainly be disappointed if it uses all of my resources that I've just gathered and then doesn't give me the large storage. Which is always a possibility, you know, after all it is an alpha. A very good alpha, though, mind you. It'll be interesting to see what they come up with in future releases, and of course we will endeavour to bring that to you. Ah, fantastic. Right, so let's put that where I wanted it in the first place. Right, so you've from the original four, you now have four on that side and a further three on that side, whereas before you were restricted to just three. Now, what you can do is if we can find one, or I'll have to print one off. Uh, I know I've got them around. I just notice I've used one of the other types to store materials, so it's handy. Okay, so let's take this one just here as it happens to be 
available. Let's take the medium storage. You can now load up the medium storage if you want. And then add that to it as well. So you can now attach not just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can now add another one and then have another eight individual resources. And that's really cool. Uh, yeah, let's put that there. I think that's where it came from. And that's a fantastic bit of modularization because you can still fly the shuttles. You can now go to a different planet and you can now load it up with the resources and things that you need, like uh, tables that you've already created that you can just lay down. You can put some solar panels on there. Uh, the resources to make solar panels or the resources to make the bits and pieces you need or just if you use uh, a lot of uh, organic material or like the exotic planet has a lot of organic material on it you can use uh, uh, yeah no yes no maybe you can use that or even the smaller one to that the medium generator that uses coal so if you have a planet where there's plenty of coal that you can use you can build yourself one of those stick some coal on it and that will power your plant not for very long mind you i would have thought it would have, take a lot long, take a lot longer to burn down the coal but failing that you've always got um a small generator which you create on your backpack and you can attach that to an individual mounting so one of the one of these small ones here, it's because it only takes up a single one, you feed it organic material and that produces power. So you can do that for your rover if you really get stuck in the middle of nowhere. Now speaking of rovers, we have our medium rover over here. And what we were going to do is we were going to put a winch on it. Not a winch, yes a winch and a, a crane. So for that we needed two copper, didn't we? So there's a piece of copper. Whether I have two pieces of copper or not is another thing. I'm sure, I saw some just laying around. Or not, as the case may be. Hmm. Nothing on there. Okay, well, I think we can use this. Extract resources. We've got malachite. We can always smelt them. Ah, we've got copper there. Do we need? Did we need more copper? I think the answer to that is generally yes. So the crane takes three copper. I've got one copper on my back. We've created one more just there with the malachite. Let's run that on the smelter. Go. As you can see, I'm starting to use resources from the battery. Do I have a spare chair? Kicking around. Oh, I can just use the one off of that corner. Right. So, let's get the chair off of that one. Don't really need it. On there, we're not going to use it anymore. Right, which is good. Now, hopefully, that means it will try and build the crane on the back. Right, examine crane. There we go. <clears throat> Scan, you should find that that's burning down the battery. Yep, look, you can see it's slowly going down. Look. Still taking its time. Oh, we'll need a solar, uh, solar panel. Willing to bet that the solar panel takes. Oh, there's a winch. The winch takes two titanium. 
Okay, well, let's use take the winch. Um, don't particularly want to take the solar panel for that one if I can help it because I want to be able to uh, power my. That's so basically charge up my battery during the day. Right, let's take the winch and we bung that on the front layer. So apart from creating oxygen tank tanks on your on your back, uh, there is tank that uses only titanium. The only other use of titanium I've seen so far is to create that winch. More to come, I think. Oh look, there's our crane. I just need to create a solar panel. <coughs> which is from here and oh, that needs copper as well looks like I need to go hunting dirt fill up the machine and basically is that heading our way? yep that's coming our way time to take cover in the meantime I've got some resin up there I could create another canister from the back that way I've got two lots of dirt and I would get the two copper I need to create a solar panel back on my new rover. <coughs> okay, is that headed this way or is it just bypassing us? Looks like it's kind of bypassing us, doesn't it really? I think so. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, let's use that resin. Put that on back. Open that up. Don't want a tank, don't want a small battery or a small generator or tethers. We want a canister. And look what I need the canister for is to go mine some dirt. So I'm going to dive down the hole over here and start ripping into the uh, the ceiling basically fill up the two canisters on the back might need to do this a couple of times Oh, that's interesting, there's another cavern just there, look. some poisonous plants. <clears throat> Aha! That's what we need some of. We need some of that malachite. I'm going to back off because that plant when it explodes hurts. There we go, just like that. Now that wouldn't be any hardship to bite the farm here, I'd rather not. I can. supply. Yeah, I think that's it for the time being from there. Let's go and take care of these plants. 
distance is always the key to these things. Anything worth uh, any? No. No research to be had. Shame. That would have been really quite interesting. Right, so back over here and up our slide. And we can start putting those on. And then again, no. Let's go and fill up the see what that one because that was that's that that would give us one. Now you can you can have a look let's see, let's see my loadout here. I've got three tanks and two canisters and to get more than one malachite out of that I'll need to do at least another one canister and get it above that little white line just across there, then I'll get two out of it. At the most you'll get one, two, three, four if you top it right up. So solar panel. Okay, and print. Of course this is the darks coming off our battery. have a fully kitted out rover. Now what we could do is put a medium battery on the front there so we have longer range on this but what I'm interested in showing you at the moment is how this bad boy works. Right so if we get in the truck I'll get in our rover. Now we have already printed off a drill and I haven't already experimented with one and that's there somewhere. It sits on those two bits there. There it is. And that fits not there. I wonder if you get different attachments for it in the future. There we go, right now the nice thing about that is is you can then crane and that is for the hard nodules that you come across on other planets so basically what you do um, let's wait till it's light let's get in the, the crane like other things once you stick them on they're stuck for good. And the winch you can use to drag stuff around. Right, okay, there's some resin here. So can I swap out to no, because that just throws my truck for a mile. Alright, so so and there you go, there you have it. Uh, that should get resources from those hardened bits. Why is my truck moving? I think this really is a two man job, to be fair. Alright, now the winch. Okay, the winch is f a bit easier. What you can do is you can just extend it, you can attach it to something like the floor. And then you can drive away and drag something al al along with, away with it. So, so, 
So what people generally use this for is some of the crash sites have really big solar panels on them. What you can do is you can drag that that thing towards you, that crash towards you with the solar panel, and you can use the solar panels off the crash site, which is quite convenient, really. But obviously, you have to be a fair way into the game. To uh, support that, let's uh, do some diligence and get rid of that hole before I fall into it. So let's see if we can go and find something to drag around with the winch. I don't think there's anything hardened. No hard. Let's go and have a look at that one that's leaning up the side there. See if we can unearth it and drag it around. Does it have any solar panels on it that we can have a look at? Uh, is that a hole? Yeah, there's a hole. Drive around it. Avoid. Uh, I don't know if it's the wrong kind of crash, but it looks like it's got a little bit further afield. That doesn't look too promising either. Don't want to go too far because I keep getting lost on the planet and spend 20 to 30 minutes trying to find my way back. Some rocket fuel on the floor. Oh, that looks promising. Let's go check that out. It's probably not the right sort of thing either, is it? Oh. And you could always drag research around. Doesn't harm it in any particular way. Mostly free. Can we give it a drag? So. So a quick dive down. A 
Unless at this point it falls over and just lands on me. Okay, that looks like it's pretty free. Well, at least it looks pretty unencumbered. Right, let's see if we can drag it out. Let's see if that stretches far enough first. Oh, it's close, but not close enough. Right, let's see if we can actually get the rover close enough without losing the rover entirely. I really hate the steering on these things. Right now, can I? Hey, stop that! Just do this gently. Right, at this point, why is it drag going? For? Stop there. Oh, oh, that wasn't too bad. Can I attach the... No, it's still not close enough. Ah, oh, I'm so going to lose this in a minute. That's the solar panel I'm trying to sit on. <laughs> That's why it's not working. Well, at least the winch is dragging me around. Stop that. Get in. Really hate the way that the steering works. Right now, can I get out of my? Oh, it's close. Right, let's see if we can actually drag. Oh, okay, we've got that. Let's see if we can drag that out. It's not having any of it. Oh well, that's the principle of the thing at the very least. As I say, it's probably not the right one anyway. Right, let's hope. Let's head in this direction so we can actually find one. Actually, my rover is running out of power. Oh, hang on a minute. What do I spy? See that in the ground? Oh, this is a golden opportunity. There we go. That's a bit of research. There we go. Perfect. Oh, click in. And enter and... There it is, look. It's a bit bungee cordish, but there it is. I'm so going to run out of power before I get there, but... <laughs> Getting under the wheels. And our rover's out of power. the basics of that okay so I think the next thing we need to talk about is extenders and they're quite a simple thing really you use them they're like a tether so what you do is you create them on your backpack so that's we've got them yeah we've brought them off, so on our backpack we should now have the option for extenders. No extenders need copper. So, oh, is that a power node? Oh, it's on the front of the rover. 
So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And it's given us a couple of bars, look. Oh, and the solar panels have dropped out, so cool. Right, now I think this research is going to be worth quite a bit, so it's worth dragging it back. So, let's get out. And attach the winch, grab the research. Oh, the wind again. And if I examine that quickly, 7,400. That was definitely worth it. Okay, so I need to grab some copper. Which we still have. There we go. And I'm going to need to dive in here before I get mullered. Definitely coming our way, isn't it? Let's take refuge rather than risk it. That was a nice find, just sitting in the middle of nowhere. extenders to create underground bases uh, on the barren moon and on the exotic where there's a well the exotic it was more more of a necessity because the amount of storms that you got you just never got time for anything so as a quick demo show you how extenders work so the idea is is basically like a tether on your backpack Extenders, and then they become a resource like that. <laughs> Unlike the tethers where you walk around and you press T, here you have to grab a power cable and then you place, and there's your extender, and you can just keep going. you can then extend that and put that onto another table. Now I've used multiples of these to go down a ramp from a solar panel and battery array to charge up uh, a base that is underground and it is very useful. Now you can pick them up again you just make sure to get that little circle underneath and you just put them on your backpack. So and on your backpack and then it's gone. Now splitters, now I've not used a splitter yet, and I'm kind of interested where they're coming from. I wonder if they're on one of these, because I don't think they're particularly huge. If you can notice trade platform, platforms, flash platform, medium print smelter, middle extractor, vehicle plane, if you're looking at no, so it's not on that one. Must be on this one then. Because it's not on my backpack. Attack, battery, drill head, medium winter, medium storage, winch, sub panel. It's not there either. Okay. That's a point of what it would be on us. You can put a crane on a shuttle. Don't see the point in that, to be fair. I don't know the there. Maybe the only place you can create the splitters is on a small Fabricator. So let's create a small fabricator, and this is a good way to get your space started. If you move to another planet and you've got resources 
then the small fabricator is your starting point and you can generate from your backpack as we've just seen. Now you don't have to mount it, it does sit alone, it's got its own power cable look. So what we'll do is we'll put it over here. You can mount it on the bench. Lock like say just bang it there. Right, can we make you make the medium ah there we go. Splitters take one copper. And so I think what we might do is leave that for now and we will cover splitters in a different video. Um, so thanks for watching, if you found this useful, if you've liked what you've seen, if you've found it informative in some way, can you uh, leave a comment and you can follow us on Facebook and, cheer and on Twitter and please hit the subscribe button below, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Until the next video, thank you, bye bye.